If you organize it, will they come? This might have entered the minds of REMAX brokers Troy Reeves and Bill Ryan when they were thinking about hosting a market-wide educational session they dubbed the AZ Event. Was watching the race to recruit. Got very motivated by the race to recruit. And started looking at avenues of different events that we could put together. Ones that would really be beneficial to the agents out there in the market. Not just ours, but every agent out there. And I wanted to do something that was a little bit different than what anybody else was doing. While everybody was still playing turtle, I wanted to come out and offer something that was very, very powerful. We needed to do something that everybody started buzzing and talking about. So what we did is we went and got the five biggest agents in the valley and said, hey, would you be on a panel for us? And then we went out there and got some sponsors to help cover that expense. And then what I'm really excited about is we charged for this event. Most events you don't think of like this, that uh, the way you get people to come is by offering a free event. We didn't. Uh, we have a, a charge for this event, and it's $10 a person. And that money is all going to CMN, Children's Miracle Network. There's an old adage relating to success that goes something like, create a need, then fill it. No creation necessary in this case. These REMAX brokers recognized an opportunity and set about filling it. One of the areas that I kind of felt on a local basis from a recruiting standpoint is maybe we didn't have as high a touch on a physical person-to-person -person type of situation. Did our REMAX broker owners possibly see another benefit coming from this event? The whole reason for this event is, for that single reason, is to recruit. There won't be anybody there tomorrow that we wouldn't want to make a contact with because you know they're striving to do that. These people coming to this tomorrow are going to be the people that have a desire and a need and a want to learn and to grow their business. And they want to figure out how they can do that, how can they improve themselves, and we're going to give them the venue to do it. They didn't have to look far for panelists. One is a revered senior statesman of Arizona real estate. Two others are top producing young guns from other companies, and two are REMAX associates from Troy and Bill's respective offices, each willing to share their own business models. I think the biggest thing is how to build on this market. We've got nothing but bad news every day. Turn on the news, look at the stats, look at the values of the homes, and that's all you see, more and more homes go into foreclosure. I think what needs to be realized in that is that if in Arizona, 48% are part of the default market, all of a sudden for a real estate agent, that's nothing but business. If you are not out there capturing that business, and you are not out, out there being a part of the solution, um, well, that may be why you are not in the business and you know you just are not busy. Last year was my best year ever. When the market was hot here, everyone was making good money, I was doing well, and then when the market changed here and things were going bad, I mean, I had no other option. Michael Kent's business today is big on prospecting, which means truckloads of rejection. A situation that his Mike Ferry sales training has him prepared to accept. We're salespeople. If you're going to go work for a major company, you know, Coca-Cola, any American Express, any big company, that's what salespeople do is they prospect every day. A lot of agents don't go out and get rejected because they, they don't like it. It's uncomfortable, which is totally understandable. But he said the way he looks at it is the more rejection, the more money he's going to make. So why other agents are out there trying to avoid rejection every day, you know, my mindset is go out and get rejected every day because the more, the more rejection, the more money I'm going to make. The AZ event played to a packed house. The panel answered questions, shared their ideas and operating maxims, and presented valuable information to their colleagues. I thought it was fabulous. A dynamic panel with dynamic topics and whoever didn't make it this morning, it really was their loss. With, you know, so much negative publicity in the market today, um, just even among real estate agents, um, it was so nice to be motivated and to hear from people that are actively very, very busy 
and had a lot of information to share. I thought it was really awesome how you got everybody together. Uh, they were all open and sharing their ideas, what their systems are, what they're using, what they're not using, what works and what doesn't work. Positive feedback like that may be all that Troy and Bill need to hear. And so Bill and I have already have plans to put together another event 